Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of We Play Pokemon. Today we are going to give Brilliant Stars a proper send off because we are six days away from Astral Radiance making its appearance. So, what other way to give Brilliant Stars a proper send off by opening a booster box of Brilliant Stars? Uh, we haven't done one on this channel in a long time, so I figure why not? Let's go ahead and crack into this as soon as we can. Um, we're also super elated if you guys saw our last video uh we had we opened up a god pack of vmax climax and that is pr currently being packed up and shipped out to portugal for manuel and i hope the uh, package gets to you as safely and as soon as possible so without further ado let's go ahead and get cracking into this brilliant stars booster box now we don't do a lot of brilliant uh booster box opening on this set because Mainly it's because it, you know, it's a lot of cards, and because it's a lot of packs to open, um, and you know, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming. But you know, because Astro Radiance is coming, the Brilliant Stars is such an amazing set. I decided, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a brilliant, uh, a booster box open on this channel. So I'm glad you're here with us. Hopefully, you guys sent all the good vibes you guys sent us. We're going to get ourselves some of the um, secret rares that's in this set. So currently, as you guys know, uh, Brilliant Stars has about 172 total cards. And out of the 172, there's also an additional 15 secret rares in this set. Now, 15 secret rares. Um, and also, not only that, there's 30 cards of the Trainer Gallery subset. So let's go ahead and get you that. And... Go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have, hmm, we have that, the V star. Okay. And you know, there's with the 30 trainer gallery subsets, uh, that brings this total set over 200, I think 20 cards. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of cards that's coming out of this pack. So, if you guys bear with me, we're going to go kind of fly through some of this because it could take a little time to get through all of it. We have a reverse holo ultra ball and a non holo flygon. So that's not an excellent start, but you know what? It's a good start. However, any day that we're opening booster box, that is uh, a good day for all of us. So I'm glad you guys here uh, joining us, uh, all 200 and I think 23 of you guys, I believe. And you know, the channel is just slowly growing every day, nationally and internationally. So, huge shout out to the Portuguese uh, from Portugal and uh, Brazil. We do have a lot of fans out that way internationally. So, we want to invite you guys, and you're most mostly very welcome to come join us on our channel. We have a Reverse Hollow Fruxer and a Non Hollow Breloom. So, here we go. Two packs in, nothing yet. So, that means that they're just saving the best for last for us. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for Astro Radiance. Um, that's going to be another set that I thought is going to have the remaining um, trainer gallery that's going to be in the VMAX Climax, but apparently it is not going to be. The rest of the um, trainer gallery cards are not going to be in there. So, I'm not sure where the rest of it's going to be. I know the VMAX Climax is such an amazing set. Uh, here we have a reverse hollow freshwater set, and we oh we do have a helpful hey Pikachu V. All right, nice. I don't think we have this in our um, collection yet, so we'd be very happy to include this Pikachu to our collection. Here we go. All right, our first V for the day. Let's go over here to Shaman. So yeah, I think that if uh, Astro Radiance does not have the remaining Trainer Gallery cards, which set's going to have it? And it's hard to say because Pokemon Go, if you guys look, that's coming out in July. So in July, um, a very excited subset, a very um, popular subset, Pokemon Go, uh, when it drops, I, you know, we don't know how many cards is in that set right now. So, um, hey, look! We got another alchemy, and behind that is a double banger. We have our Kingler V Max. All right, let's go ahead and get the V Max 
properly sleeved up. Perfect. And then let's get our trainer gallery. You guys see that's TG. That's not included in the um, TTG number eight out of 30. So that's not included in the regular count. So it has its own, um, own number set for the whole set of brilliant stars. So let's go ahead and put this over here. Okay, I think we went left to right. So yeah, you know, we still have, <laughs> for this set, we've opened up a bunch of packs, but you know what, we have yet to pull a Charizard and I just got tired of it. And I went out and bought my own Charizard. Uh, not too bad, you know, the regular Charizard V, uh, I think you could pick them up. When they first came out, they were about $80 for a Charizard V. But today, you could probably pick these up for about $15, $20. Uh, I think about $16 on TCG Player. But, ooh, Infernape Reverse Hollow. And a non hollow Wormadam. All right. Yeah, you could pick up the Charizard V for about $16 on TCG Player. And I think I picked one up on eBay for about $15. So they're, you know, they're. Um, fluctuating between I think you know 15 to 20 dollars to probably depending on quality right the only problem with with TCG players that when you buy there you don't really get to see the card at all they're just gonna send you oh uh oh these are upside down we have an upside down trainer card okay print up I think I messed this up some way somehow because I think I saw the back card already, so there's nothing, nothing back there. So we have a Reverse Hollow Torkoal and an SQ. So yeah, you know, the prices of the these cards are slowly come down and become very much more affordable. Someone like me who would like to have a master set um, definitely is appreciating the um, price drop, if you, if you will. Uh, and of course we're gonna go ahead and collect them and you know maybe one day if the value continues to rise uh, who knows maybe we can sell it or just continue to keep it in our collection what do you guys do do you guys do you guys hold on to it and sell it later on or do you just go ahead and hold on to it and hopefully it'll rise in the future we have a reverse hollow Cincino Chin Chincino I think and a hollow dust noir okay not a v v max or a trainer gallery so yeah i mean if 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 you guys if you guys are collecting and if you can't get your chase card do you open up more packs or do you just go ahead and buy it i think at the price today where it is so much cheaper to just buy the card maybe it's better to just buy the card right stormy cynthia's ambition carablast clefairy cherubi Sock, Corefish, Reverse Hollow SQ, and a oh a Hollow Lucario. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and put that there. Not a banger, but you know, uh, as long as it fills up the binder and get my master set filled up, I think I'll be totally happy with that. Here we go. And we have Metal Energy, another Cynthia's Ambition, Torco, Double Energy Turbo, Chino, Snorant, Nose Pass, Dedene, Reverse Hollow Gibbo, and a regular uh, and a rare non hollow. Okay. Now, Pokemon Go, I've already put my, my pre orders in with the Pokemon Center. <laughs> because, really, as far as the ETB goes, I think because the ramp up of Pokemon ETB prints, they are a lot more readily available in the market today. And so the Pokemon Center have exclusive Elite Trainer boxes and I think that's where probably where the value of the um, collectability of ETBs are gonna be because who knows if, you know, I bought my Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer box $80 almost a year ago and now they're sitting on the shelves for about 40 bucks so that that kind of hurts a little bit right nose pass and we have a grim snarl so yeah i mean obviously at this point the reprint come in and it doesn't 
it, it really just kind of tanks the market, which is great, honestly, because I was able to pick up two more and I'll just hold on to them. Uh, I've already opened up a Vivid Voltage. No, actually, you know what? We have not opened a Vivid Voltage on this channel because at the time it was so expensive. So maybe because now we have Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Voltage on the shelves that's so easily to get. I think they're about $39 a piece and in some places I actually gone up to $44 a piece. So, you know, prices are going up just like everything else in this country. Starly, Spirit Tomb, Perloin. Mousery, ooh, Reverse Hollow Garchomp, and oh, we have something back there. It is a Zamazenta V, all right. This is not in our collection right now, so I am happy to add you to it. So yeah. Yep, just like everything else, you know, for our international fans out there, subscribers out there, how has the inflation in America affected your country. Uh, you guys seeing huge price increase in anything? Um, let us know. Oh, sorry, code card. One, two, three, four. We have Dark Energy. Grotto, Barry, Clang, Farfetch'd, Shinx, Execute, Chimchar. Oh, upside down. Man, what is going on? Second upside down card in this set. And we have a reverse hollow grim snarl and we have something back here. Hey, it's a shaman V. All right. I think we have a shaman V already, but it's okay. We can use this for trade bait for to allow us to, you know, maybe finish off this set for anybody who's interested in trading some cards. So we're not even halfway through yet guys. And that's why <laughs> booster boxes, you kind of got to fly through them. That's why I always give the guys who do Pokemon box openings a lot of credit. They fill the gap with non-silence. And they do an awesome job about, uh, with it too. So, Shout out to all the PokeTubers out there. Continue uh, tremendous success. Hey, and we have a Jolteon uh, trainer gallery. If we got a banger back here, no we don't. So the... Jolteon is going to fill the hit slot for us. Oh, got a little bit of debris on our sleeves here. Let's go ahead and replace that sleeve. And this one's much cleaner. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Perfect. Okay, so not so bad. We haven't gotten any of the secret rares or the um, two, only two tr uh, trainer galleries so far. So. But we still got a lot more packs to go, so stick around. Hopefully the good vibes we get is going to fill this wall up with awesome cards. So here we go. We got Psychic, Clang, Turquoise, Double Energy, Magmar, Staryu, Burmy, Sock, Cherubi, Reverse Hollow, Empoleon, and a non hollow Rare. Okay, here we go. Have you guys been keeping up with the um, PokeTuber beef about investing in Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. You know, some people are debating about modern investment versus vintage investment. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty new to this hobby, so I really don't have an opinion on it. I'm not really, a, honestly, not really an investor. I don't flip a lot of my products. I just buy them put them on the channel either I give it away or I open it on the channel so I kind of stay out of it um, because at the end of the day this is a hobby and we're here to have fun and we're here to collect for our, ourselves and if those who wants to turn into a business or, or make a living with it you know just understand that not everybody is an investor when it comes to Pokemon so at the end of the day just just do you and whatever's best for you and your family I think that that's ooh, friends of Galar. I think that's probably for me the best approach that I can have when it comes to pokey tubing and investing. We have reverse hollow hunting glove and a non hollow rare Mewtwo. All right. But if you guys are following, let me know what do you guys think. Are do you agree with uh, modern or do you agree with collecting vintage? If 
if modern's your way to go, let me know why. I mean, I haven't, you know, really dabbled into vintage stuff yet, only because I don't know, know a lot about it. But if it comes to modern, I know more about it, so at least it lets me know if I'm spending my money correctly on these products or not, right? Bell toy, Snorrent, Nose Pass, Cup Chew, Reverse Hollow, Club Fairy. Oh, it's so dark. Kind of hard to see. Let me see if we can get camera in here. There we go. There we go. Can we see a little better, Clefairy? All right. And we have a, ooh, a rare Moltres. Okay. Hollow Moltres. There we go. Bam. I'm digging this new song that I, I downloaded uh, for free on mixkit.com. If you guys ever want to get into Pokétubing, definitely the music that you pick to play on your stream is important because if it's copyright claimed, you cannot monetize it. So this is probably one of the better songs that I, we can get for free without... Whoa, look at how this card is scratched up. Man, can you see that? Look at all that white behind there. Brand new out of the pack. One, two, three, four. Sheesh. Like we said, we opened up Japanese cards the other day and there's not that kind of issue coming out of Japanese cards. It's crazy the quality of Japanese cards versus American or English cards. The quality is just so much better. We have a Reverse Hello Ocellaris Promonition and it's a Kling Clang non hollow rare. Yeah, I mean, if you guys saw some of our um, openings Japanese cards, just the the, the quality of the card it, it's so much superior to English cards it's crazy so one two three oh four we have a Barry I gotta remember these trainer cards because it was so embarrassing when I was opening the VMAX Climax card and we had the God Pack I didn't remember half of the trainers. Hey, Simiseer, half of the trainers name, not even half, like maybe I only knew like two or three of them. And it was Melanie, not Melody. Um, trainer, I was just calling it Mel Melody, which is completely wrong. My daughters came in and they corrected me. But yeah, there was a Nessa. There was 10 full art trainer cards in that God Pack. I was just shaken when I open up that pack. N never believed that here on uh, We Play Pokemon, we would open a God Pack, right? So we have done that. Check, check that off the list to open a God Pack live, not live, but you know, on, on, on video and record it to share with everybody here. Reverse Hollow Breloom and a non hollow Rare Muck. So here we go. I think we're about halfway through here, which means I need to speed it up a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Unless we don't do the card trick, I can probably speed it up just a little bit. What do you guys think? Maybe the next, the rest of this, we don't do the card trick. We kind of just go through them. Bell toy. Hey, artillery. Nice. This is train the gallery artillery and a, another Moltres. So let's go ahead and sleeve the artillery. And maybe we don't do the card trick and we can see how this box holds up for all of us here. So yeah, Moltres. That's, that's the second Moltres we have. So. No secret rare yet. Uh, none of the... Um, None of the EV evolutions. So, you know, we're gonna keep going. Here we go. Hey, we have a single strike Urshifu. That's a first. And we have a non hollow rare SQ. There we go. That's the first one we have here. That That's a cool looking card. I'm not sure who his trainer is, but look, they're fighting. They're Sifu, right? Urshifu. Or is it your Shifu? <laughs> I look at it, every time I look at it, I think it sounds like your Shifu. So let's go ahead and put here, put it right here next to Pikachu. It looks like it's about to fall, up, 
fall apart over there on that wall there. So yeah, my wife said whenever she see, hears Urshifu, she think of your Shifu. Which is kind of funny, right? Okay, here we go. We got Clefairy, Carablast, Cherubi, Salt, Corefish, Reverse Hollow Lapras, and a Clefable. Alright, and the rest of the card is not a rare. Okay, here we go. Looks like we have maybe eight left, eight or nine left. Okay, we, this is a code card. Here we go, Tino, Carablast, Boozo, Halucha, Reverse Hollow Snorant, and a Manaphy. Okay. One thing about uh, um, English booster boxes is that there's no guarantees of anything in, th in their boxes. Uh, well, I think Japanese card, there's a guarantee of one booster box will guarantee something, right? Like a secret rare or, or an ultra rare in their, in their card or in their pack. So yeah, just to confirm. Nothing. But that's the difference between an English set versus a Japanese set. There's a guarantee in every booster box that you're gonna pull something amazing. Uh, when it comes to English cards, there's no guarantee. Oh, oh, we have a reverse hollow, clink clang, clink clang, clink clang, <laughs> and a rare dust noir. Okay. This, uh, I hope that we can definitely fill on all the gaps of the Brilliant Stars set that we um, uh, still have yet to collect. And maybe we can finish off that finish off the binder but at this rate with the training galleries and secret rares if we don't hit them there's no way we're gonna finish off the um, master set of this of brilliant stars but at least we'll, we'll get a little bit closer this time right so here we go shroom come up starly execute turtwick hey our first EV do we get a double banger we don't so we do have our first EV here Oh, the trainer gallery has just made pulling cars so much more fun, and th they end up in the reverse hollow, the reverse hollow slot. And instead of getting nothing in the reverse hollow, you get something now, right? So that's cool. Okay, this stack is getting super high over here. That's what happens when you open a booster box. You can get a ton of bolt cards, right? Okay. We have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> five, but, what? We had two stragglers back here. Five, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. We're just gonna put the box aside. And seven to go. And this is eighth pack with a Luxray Rare. Okay. Brings us to pack number seven. There we go. Sometimes I wish we were opening Japanese cards because we know we were guaranteed some sort of secret rare. But when we open up English cards, there's no guarantee. Oh, here we go. We have a Drampa V, Reverse Hollow Wormadam. And the rest are just regular cards. Okay, cool. Drampa V. Not bad. I mean, I think we got so far a handful of V's. Train the galleries. Um, one V Max. You know what that means? That we should be due for another V Max in here, which means, <laughs> come on, Charizard. So a Charizard needs to be in this. Needs to be in here. It has to be, right? I mean, look at all the V Maxes that came out. There's only one. That is insane. So let's go. Far fetched. Dusko, Grimer, Shanks, Badoof, Reverse Hollow, Cafe Master, and a Empoleon Rare Hollow. Okay. Oh, we're striking out, guys. I don't know. I still, I'm still keeping the hope, but it feels kind of bleak. Okay. Magmar, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu, Reverse Hollow, Axew, and a non hollow Mewtwo. Number two. Second time we pulled that card. Okay. This is pack number four. How are we doing? How are we doing? Okay. Riolu, Spiritomb, Perlon, Mercury, P 
Atcherisu. Oh, oh, we have something. And it's a Roseanne's backup. Okay, it's a full art trainer. We will, uh oh. I just hit my little light over here. We're filling up the trainer section and the trainer gallery section really well. So I'm happy about that. Which leaves us two more packs. Okay, let's go. So I, I <laughs> you guys see, I haven't been struggling with the packs lately only because I saw how Pogo Dad was opening his packs and he's like, you know what? Let me give that a shot. Pogo Dad, uh, he's another Poke. Oh, we have a Whimsicott V Star. This is going to be your uh, secret rare. Not the Charizard, but we will definitely take the Whimsicott V Star uh, Rainbow. Now, you guys know some of the recent tournaments, the Whimsicott V Star has been killing it out there. So, the value of this card has slowly risen uh, due to tournaments that's why I say keep an eye on tournaments see which decks are out there kicking butt and the value of those cards common and uh, and and uncommons will see a lot of action a lot of movement so keep an eye on those cards out there okay uh, we have a reverse hollow Charon's care and we have something I see something back there it is hey, hey, hey Arceus V all right, so this box starting to get real nice towards the end here. I was getting so worried. I was like, oh man, not one V-Star. We had a, is this a, that's a V-Max, not even a V-Star. So we have one V-Star and an Arceus V and one V-Max. So that just means the Charizard is in this pack, right? It has to be. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't get my hopes up too much because that is a hard card to pull. So here we go. Last pack. Electabuzz, Halucha, Buzo, Gibble, Trapinch, a Reverse Holo Flagon, and a <laughs> Grim Snarl Non Holo Rare. Okay. So look, recap. Not too bad, honestly. Um, let's see. Let's let's go and do a full recap. This is a trainer gallery. We have a V, Arceus V, a V Star, trainer gallery, another V. This is actually trainer gallery. This is just a trainer uh, subset, a trainer card, full art. This is a rare. Another trainer gallery. Here's a V. V, V, Trainer Gallery, and a standalone VMAX. So that is the total of our, a recap of our pull. Not that great, but you know what? I will take it because this is going to fill up our binder big time. Thank you everybody for joining us here today. We had a blast opening up one of our first booster box on the channel as we await to bring in Astral Radiance. Now I can't wait personally because we want to try and see uh, what is new and what we can get this uh, this booster box has been sitting on my shelf for a little while now and I am happy to be able to open that and share that with you guys here so thank you for joining us you guys have been great all 221 of you today let's go ahead and continue to bring that number up I appreciate you guys hitting the like button and the subscribe button please continue to do so and let us know that we're doing a good job or at least you know you guys want to see more of what we're doing so we appreciate it thank you very much we love you and take care bye